So here's a brief tutorial on assigning program changes to patches within the MiniMonster, which is obviously quite essential for live use and stuff like that, where you have a set list and you want to scroll through uh, program changes in order of songs or set list. So the first thing uh, that I have here are four notes, and these are simply playing uh, first sound on MiniMonster, the bass, the bo boogie on bass. Okay, and what we're going to do with each of these four is assign a program change just before each one and uh, show how that's done. So the first thing to note is that even though we've got the four notes here, you'll notice that they don't start exactly on the bar. And this is because I'm going to put the program change message exactly on the bar. And we do need a little bit of space because obviously all the parameters have to be updated and the sound has to be updated. And if you try playing a note at the same time as a program change, just as in the olden days with hardware, you are going to get glitches and stuff like that. So it's quite essential just to uh, make sure that there is a gap between the program change message and the note. OK, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to open up and we are going to look at this P-G-A-R-T-F-M. And this is the bit that seems to confuse people because even though this is in the manual, I think it's the cryptic naming of this particular button that seems to be confusing people. And it actually stands for program assignment read the uh, in manual now I know that's a bit naughty and it's a little bit cryptic but hey we've got to uh, have our fun wherever we can right so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to press that button and what's going to happen is when we press that button each one of these patches in order will be assigned a program change number so and here we have 682 meta patches that have been mapped now they start at 0 or 1 and they work their way upwards so obviously in with MIDI we have 128 messages before we start having to move on to bank changes so they are in this order and we can show that quite clearly by let's say uh, we will create some program change messages so I'm going to create four this one is going to be on one this one we're going to put on three, this one we're going to put on five, and this one we're going to put on seven. And we're going to assign them to different patches. So, zero, one, two, and finally three. Now the other important thing is to make sure that the program changes and your notes are on the same MIDI channel so that's reasonably essential. Now if you look over here at Logic at the actual track itself you can see there's a zero, there's a one, there's a two and there's a three. In fact let's expand that just a little bit more so you can see. So the zero, the one, the two and the three and this indicates that program change messages have been applied to this track. So let's just close that up for a second and hear what we've done. So there's the first one, second one, the third, and the fourth. Okay, so that's all very well and good, but what we've done is essentially just assigned program changes within the first four of these. But within a set, it's not going to work like that. So here's what we recommend doing. And I am going to drag the mini monster sound folder here. And obviously we're on a Mac and it's basically HD library GeForce mini monster. So if I wanted to create a uh, set list of program changes that I wanted to scroll through, let's say I would create a new folder and I would call it 01 set list. And within that set list, I would then drag certain patches from here. So let's take, uh, we will take Boogie on bass because that's quite a distinctive and recognizable one. Let's have a theremin. Uh, let's take something like uh, a small triumph and a sequence. Um, what sequence? A bouncy bass sequence, that's kind of cool. Okay, so we've got the four programs that we want in there and in fact I'm just going to lob one more in bastard simply because I like the name so we get rid of that for a second 
Now we open our mini monster again and at the top we have a button called refresh. So let's hit that and now you can see our 01 set list has come up with all of the sounds that we've just copied across into there with all of the meta patches as it were. So now what I'm going to do is reassign that 683 meta patches mapped and now when we press play the program changes that we had within our base section here will now take effect from the first folder. So let's close that up and let's hit play. That's the theremin. And there you go. And if we wanted to make that last one the bouncy bass sequence, we would do that. We would change that to four. We can see that this is four on the track here. So let's just run through them again. And we will see Boogie on bass, Live Theremin, Small Triumph, and Bouncy Bass Sequence. And there you have it. So hopefully that will get you sorted on program changes.